I'd like to show you how I turned this into this through the application of a single effect, and similarly, how I turned this into this. So let's select our first shape just here. Now, if I were to come up to the effect menu just now, any effects that I apply will apply to the object as a whole. Now, in this case, I'm trying to offset the fill and the stroke relative to each other, so we need to get a little more targeted with our selection. So up under the window menu, let's open up appearance. And again, with this object selected just here, we can see its stroke and fill just here. Now I'm wanting to apply an effect to just the fill in this case. So all I have to do is click once on fill to target it. Now when I come up to effect, distort and transform, and choose transform, any changes that we make just here are going to only apply to the fill. So making sure our preview is turned on, if I come into the move section just here, horizontal and vertical, let's start to mess around like so, and check this out just here. So let's choose OK, and let's actually click on these triangles just next to fill and stroke here in the appearance panel to open them up. And we can see here, transform has been applied as an effect to just the fill and not the stroke. Now this is all fully editable. For example, the eyeball next to transform, I can easily turn that off and on like so. With transform selected, I can click on the trash can to throw it away if I wish. And to edit it, simply click once on transform. The same dialog box opens up. I can make a change again like so. We can see that changing in real time just here, choosing OK, and that's the result just there. Let's look now at our second example where I turned this into this. And actually, now that we know what we're doing, with this final one selected just here, we can already see what I've done. The fill has no effect applied to it, but this time that transform effect, I just applied it to the stroke. So if we just click now on transform, to open up the transform effect, we can see not only have I messed around with the move, horizontal and vertical options just here, but I've also applied a scale change and also a rotation. And that's how I was able to turn this into this through the application of a single live effect. So I hope that helps you offset your fills and strokes here inside of Illustrator. Catch you later.